T.R. Knight has left Grey's Anatomy, and there's been a lot of controversy surrounding his decision to do so. Remember, he left a $14 million contract. All right, uh, and of course his character was George O'Malley on the show, and he's finally opened up and talked about why he left the show on Entertainment Weekly. So um, basically, he talks about, yeah, I just felt like uh, I needed to do something else; it wasn't fulfilling anymore. Yada yada yada. He didn't get along with the executive producer. Yeah, that's yeah. the gist of the story here. Okay, uh, her name is uh, Shonda Rhimes. And yeah, they did not get along. I agree with you. That's the same thing I, I took away from this, Anna. And it, also, his the number of minutes that he was on uh, the show was decreasing, right. partly because of that probably confrontation. It, you know, he's got those issues, and he thinks the executive producer didn't have his back and was like, hey, if you don't want to come out, that'd be kind of cool. She says, hell no, I told him come out or do whatever you want, say whatever you want about your identity, right? Sexual uh, uh, identity. Um, but here comes the bottom line. He gave up a $14 million contract. I know. That is insane. There's, uh, look, I'm, I'm, I don't, that is guilty, okay? I think that's mental, man. Now, J.R. Jackson, let me tell you something. You're going to have trouble with your executive producer, okay? She says, oh, you know what? I need you to not talk about your, how you're black. <laughs> right? I need you to do this. I need you to do that. You know what? You're going to appear on the show less. But uh, your contract's $14 million. What do you think? You stay on that show? Uh, I'll be there. And then I'll, I'll go home and start talking about militant black things. And just I'll catch up with myself when I get home as I come up. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I catch up with myself at home. <laughs> $14 million. Here's my prediction. And I hate to do it to you, TR. But... You will never get another fourteen million dollar paycheck, okay? Because and that's a heavy thing to say. The flip side is fourteen million dollars is a lot of money. Not a lot of people get fourteen million dollar checks in this world. I mean, you tell me you're going to be a a big a big enough movie star to get a fourteen million dollar check for a movie? That means you're one of the top ten movie stars in the in the country in the world, mm -hmm. okay? You ain't going to be top ten. You're telling me you're going to find another hit show. Where you're going to be the star, one of the stars of that, and you're going to get 14 million for that? Good luck. You might, you might get lucky, right. but likely you just turned down the biggest payday of your life because you had some issues with your executive producer. I uh, think that's crazy. No, you know what? I'm going to say something, and you're going to laugh at me, and you're going to disagree with me. But in this particular case, I think T.R. Knight is being a man of principle. Mm. Okay, and I think that uh, if someone told me, if I was a lesbian and someone told me, uh, you're not allowed to come out, I, I don't think it's a good f idea for you to share your true identity with others, I would be really upset about it. I don't know if I personally would leave uh, $14 million behind, but he's a man of principle, and uh, obviously he was not okay with her uh, asking him to, I guess, deny his identity. And, you know, yeah, but look, that was back in the day, right? That was uh, now a couple of years ago. He's still holding on to that grudge. And it's not like she didn't allow him. You know, they have miscommunication or mis Let's take his side of it. Let's say he's 100% right. Mm -hmm. And he, she said, hey, look, it'd be cool if we didn't talk about this too much, right? It's entirely possible she did that. Oh, man, for $14 million, do you have any idea? And look, I mean, he's more principled than I am. He's a better man than I am, mm -hmm. okay? Somebody comes up to me and says, Jim, we need you to not discuss how swarthy a Muslim you were or are, okay? You know, and if you could just kind of hush up about that, I'd be like, well, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, what do you, where do you need me to put the $14 million? You know. Okay. And then later, after I catch the $14 million, then we're going to have a laugh and I'll uh, come out there. It's Allah, I'm on the law. But let me go ahead and put that in the bank account first. I think he was very paranoid about his role. Uh -huh. I think he was worried that they were going to kill him off or something. I mean, his minutes were reduced to only 48, 48 minutes in total for the um, first nine episodes of the fifth season. As long as I get paid. Right. Is, they, oh, you're going to kill me off. Oh, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, no. Oh, see. Wait, let me see. <laughs> Where do I cash the check? <laughs> okay. That's my feelings about that. Right. And also, I mean, I think T.R. Knight uh, 
right now, this sounds really terrible. I think he thinks really highly of himself at this point. I think he saw Grey's Anatomy become successful. He mm. felt that he was an element of the success. So he thinks he's going to move on and make a ton of money. I don't think that he's thinking about the money right now. He doesn't think it's an issue. Mm -hmm. He thinks he's going to get picked up by another show, or maybe he thinks he's going to be on the big screen and everything's going to be okay. But yeah. then reality's going to bite him in the ass, and he's going to be, you know, crying for that $14 million. Of course! Mm -hmm. God, no, no, no. I, I'm done with this, man. TR. Look, I, he's, he doesn't look... All right, look, good luck to you. My point is, good luck to you. Uh, maybe you're a good man and a principled man, but I think you're way overestimating the amount of money you're about to make in the rest of your career. Okay, good luck.